it's the most controversial rifle in America. To some, it's a symbol of freedom. To others, a weapon of tragedy. But behind the headlines lies a machine that changed firearm history forever. The AR-15. Born from Cold War innovation, it evolved from a military prototype to a civilian icon. Lightweight, modular, and everywhere, this rifle revolutionized firearm culture and politics. But what makes the AR-15 so impactful? Let's break it down. The story of the AR-15 begins in the 1950s, a time when the US military was seeking a new weapon. World War II had proven the importance of automatic fire. The Korean War reinforced the need for lighter, faster shooting weapons. The standard issue M1 Garand was powerful, but it was heavy, fired slowly, and was difficult to manage under rapid combat conditions. Then, Eugene Stoner entered. A former Marine and aircraft engineer, Stoner didn't come from the world of traditional gun makers. That's exactly what made his approach different. Working at Armalite, a small division of the Fairchild Aircraft Corporation, he was tasked with revolutionizing infantry weapons. Instead of adhering to traditional gun craftsmanship, Stoner employed aircraft grade aluminum, space age plastics, and modern manufacturing techniques. He designed a radically lightweight rifle, fired a small but fast bullet and featured a direct impingement gas system that reduced moving parts and weight. The rifle was called the Armalite Rifle Model 15, AR-15 for short. The AR-15 didn't just look futuristic, it was futuristic. At just over 6.5 pounds unloaded, it weighed almost half as much as the battle rifles of its time. Its modular design meant parts could be swapped, barrels changed, and optics mounted with ease. The direct impingement system used gas pressure from fired rounds to cycle the bolt, eliminating the need for heavy pistons or complex mechanisms. It fired the new 5.56 by 45 mm NATO round, a small caliber high velocity cartridge that traveled at speeds over 3,000 feet per second. Though critics initially dismissed it as too weak, it offered key advantages, lower recoil, higher accuracy, and the ability for soldiers soldiers to carry more ammunition into battle. But Stoner's masterpiece wasn't built for civilians at first. It was pitched to the US military who after a few hiccups accepted a modified version of the rifle as the M16. The rest as they say is history. So how did the AR-15 become the civilian rifle? In 1959, Armalite sold the design to Colt's manufacturing company. Colt quickly marketed the semi-automatic version, the AR-15, as a sporting rifle to civilians, hunters, and police forces. At gun shows and in magazines, ads featured men with clean-cut haircuts and pressed shirts firing the AR-15 on sunny shooting ranges. By the 1970s and 1980s, it was growing in popularity, especially among sports shooters and hobbyists. It was accurate, easy to maintain, and most importantly, customizable. That's the magic word, customizable. Want a longer barrel? Easy. A red dot sight? Just add it. Need a suppressor? There's a thread for that. The AR-15 wasn't just a gun, it was a platform. The Lego set of rifles. It could be anything you wanted it to be. A hunting rifle, a competitive shooting machine, a home defense weapon, or just a weekend range toy. With time, it became more than a firearm. It became a culture. Here's what makes the AR-15 tick. When you pull the trigger, the firing pin strikes the primer on the cartridge. The gunpowder inside ignites, launching the bullet down the barrel at lightning speed. At the same time, some of the hot gas from that explosion is siphoned through a small gas port in the barrel and directed back through a narrow tube to the bolt carrier group. 
that gas pressure pushes the bolt rearward, ejecting the spent cartridge, compressing the buffer spring, and cocking the hammer. The spring then pushes the bolt forward, stripping a new round from the magazine and chambering it. All of that happens in milliseconds. This cycle is what allows the AR-15 to fire rapidly and reliably, one shot per trigger pull. And because the gas system is internal, the recoil is surprisingly manageable even for new shooters. The upper and lower receivers can be separated with just two pins. The barrel, grip, stock, trigger group, and handguard can all be swapped out. You don't need a gunsmith, just a basic toolkit and a YouTube tutorial. By the 1990s, the AR-15 had earned a new nickname, the Black Rifle. This wasn't a compliment. As gun culture collided with American politics, the AR-15 became the lightning rod in the national debate over firearm rights and gun control. Its menacing appearance and similarity to military weapons triggered public fears, especially after it was used in several high-profile incidents. In 1994, the Federal Assault Weapons Ban restricted the sale of AR-15s and other similar rifles, banning features like pistol grips, flash suppression, Pressors and folding stocks. But the law didn't ban AR-15s entirely, it just regulated their features. Gun manufacturers adapted, they removed the banned features, renamed the rifles, and continued selling them. When the ban expired in 2004, the AR-15 market exploded. Millions of new buyers flooded in, driven by a mix of political fear, pop culture exposure, and a growing tactical lifestyle movement. Today, there are estimated to be over 25 million AR-style rifles in civilian hands in the United States alone. But its influence didn't stop at politics. It spread into pop culture, shaping how we imagine warfare, heroism, and threat. Love it or hate it, you've seen the AR-15. It appears in video games, movies, and TV shows as the go-to rifle for soldiers, SWAT teams, and survivalists. It's in rap lyrics, news broadcasts, and political debates. It's featured in YouTube tutorials, firearms blogs, and Instagram influencer photo shoots. It's become so iconic, some people recognize it before they even understand what it does. And that's what gives it power. To gun and Enthusiasts, the AR-15 represents freedom, the right to own, build, and shoot what you want. To critics, it's a symbol of unnecessary lethality, mass shootings, and legislative failure. Few things in American life are more polarizing than this rifle, but that's also what keeps it at the center of the conversation. With fame comes myth, and the AR-15 has plenty. Myth number one, the AR-15 is a machine gun. False. The civilian AR-15 is semi-automatic. One trigger pull equals one shot. Automatic rifles like the M16 or M4 are tightly regulated under federal law. Myth number two, it's only designed for killing. While its roots are military, today's AR-15s are used in hunting, sport shooting, home defense, and competition. Many hunters use them for deer, hogs, or coyotes thanks to the wide range of available calibers. Myth number three, it's unstoppable. The AR-15 is precise, but it's not indestructible. Extreme cold, below minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit, excessive fouling, or cheap parts can cause malfunctions. It's a machine, not magic. Myth number four, the AR-15 is uniquely deadly. Not exactly. Most rifle rounds, including those fired from hunting rifles, are capable of similar or even greater damage. What makes the AR-15 controversial isn't its power alone. It's the combination of capacity, accuracy, and rate of fire in civilian hands. One of the wildest aspects of AR-15 culture, you can build your own. 
thanks to online parts kits, 3D printers, and lower receivers sold as 80% complete, thousands of Americans have assembled rifles from scratch. The process isn't easy, but it's legal in most states and has become a rite of passage for enthusiasts. It's part engineering project, part personal expression, and it has fueled an entire cottage industry of armorers, trainers, and influencers. Fun fact, there are over 100 companies in the US manufacturing AR style parts, from boutique barrels to custom triggers that break like glass. You might wonder, how did a military weapon designed for combat find its way into millions of civilian hands? The answer starts with the weapon's surprising adaptability. When the AR-15 first hit the market, it wasn't just another rifle, it was the epitome of modularity. If you wanted a rifle that could be customized to your exact needs, this was it. You could change the barrel length, swap out the stock, or add a flashlight. It wasn't just a gun, it was a platform that could be tailored for anything from hunting to competitive shooting. But it wasn't just about how it worked, it was about the culture that surrounded it. The AR-15 quickly became a symbol of freedom, self-reliance, and American ingenuity. For many, owning one wasn't just about owning a rifle, it was about being part of something bigger. A community of like-minded enthusiasts who believed in the right to build, modify, and shoot what they wanted. The AR-15 wasn't just a tool, it was an expression of individualism. As its popularity grew, so did its presence in the media. From Hollywood action films to video games, the AR-15's sleek, futuristic look made it a staple of pop culture. It became the go-to weapon for action heroes and the ultimate symbol of cool in the world of firearms. This cultural footprint only made the AR-15 more desirable and more controversial. Today, it's not just about what the AR-15 represents in popular culture, it's about what it means in politics. The debate over its civilian use touches on everything from Second Amendment rights to concerns about safety. The AR-15 has become a symbol of the modern divide in America, a rifle caught between its legacy as a tool of sport and self-defense, and its role in public tragedies that raise tough questions about gun control. Nussum. Unlike the AK-47, the AR-15 didn't spread globally through military exports, but it still found its way abroad. Special forces in countries like Canada, the UK, Australia, and Israel have used AR variants for years. Law enforcement agencies from Europe to Latin America use them for SWAT and counter-terror units. Civilian versions are sold in countries with liberal gun laws, including Canada, the Czech Republic, and Switzerland. Its reach is not as vast as the AK, but its influence is undeniable. The AR-15 redefined what a rifle could be. It's not just the technology, it's the accessibility, the modularity, the culture. It opened the door to the concept of the modern sporting rifle, a gun that adapts to you, not the other way around. Whether you see it as a tool, a threat, or a symbol, the AR-15 changed how Americans think about firearms. It changed how rifles are designed, marketed, and debated. It triggered laws, inspired inventions, and shaped a national identity around gun ownership. It may not be the most historically deployed rifle, but in terms of impact and transformation, it did change everything. So what do you think? Is the AR-15 a masterpiece of engineering? Or a Pandora's box will never close? Drop your thoughts in the comments. We want to hear your take. And here's a quick question for you. Did you know the AR in AR-15 stands for Armalite Rifle, not Assault Rifle? That one's fooled millions. Be honest, did you get it right? If you love deep dives into the weapons that shaped history, hit that subscribe button. From the AK to the F-22, we're just getting started. More firepower, more history, more truth coming your way soon.